Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Dog Recipes. I'm Mandy. Today we're making pi dan shou rou zhou. Zhou is like rice soup, and there are many versions. What we're making today is probably the most popular one: pork with century eggs. I know some of you probably have seen century eggs in the Asian market and wondering, are they really hundred years old? Of course not. <laughs> it's just a duck egg that is preserved with sodium hydroxide and other spices for just a few weeks to a couple of months. Not as scary as you think. <laughs> Let's set the eggs aside, and we're going to wash the rice. Here is 200 grams of uncooked jasmine rice. Rinse it under running water for a couple of times. The water does not need to be clear. Congee is originally made with leftover rice, which I have showed you how to do that in my chicken congee recipe. Today, I want to take this chance to show you how to make it from uncooked rice. All right, fill the bowl with water, and we're gonna soak the rice on the side for just ten to fifteen minutes while you're waiting for the broth to come to a boil. The soaking will shorten the cooking time. Add eight cups of broth or water to a clay pot. I'm using chicken broth. Ideally, you should match the broth with the protein. We're using pork today, and I don't have pork broth, so I go with the chicken. Not a problem at all. Turn the heat to high. It takes about ten to fifteen minutes for it to come to a boil. During this time, we can prepare the pork. I'm using pork loin. It has a layer of fat and silver skin around. Remove that. You can keep it for more flavors, but I don't like the texture in my congee. Slice the pork loin into a quarter of an inch thick slabs. Stack the slabs together, then thinly julienne them. Next is the marinade. You will need two teaspoons of salt. I know that looks like a lot, which is on purpose. We will cook the pork in the rice soup, and the soup will dilute the seasoning. If you use normal amount of salt, the pork will taste plain. Continue by adding one teaspoon of garlic powder, one egg white. And one tablespoon of cornstarch. Mix thoroughly and set it aside. The broth should come to a boil by now. Drain the rice completely and add it to the boiling water. Stir to make sure nothing sticks to the bottom. Wait for it to come back to a boil. Turn the heat to low and simmer it for fifteen minutes. Here is another trick. I like to place a pair of chopsticks on the pot and put the lid on top of them. Congee is one of those soups that would definitely overflow if the lid is on. Putting the chopsticks solves the problem perfectly. While waiting, we can prepare the century eggs. Crack and peel the shell. I know it looks kind of scary, but it is not a rotten egg. The alkaline changed the color. And turn the egg white into a dark brown gel. It is safe to eat. I know there are many reaction videos out there and telling you how bad it tastes. That is because they are eating it wrong. It has a slight earthy flavor and a sharp alkaline taste, which will fade away once cooked in the rice congee and left with a mild umami taste. This recipe is the most common way to enjoy century eggs. Of course, there are other ways. I'll share that in the future. Let me cut one in half and show you the inside. The egg yolk is still runny, which is the best part of the century egg because it melts in the soup and makes the congee rich and creamy. All right, cut all the century eggs into bite-sized chunks. And set it aside. Besides that, you will also need to grate some ginger. It has been fifteen minutes now. The
The rice is cooked through, but it is not ready yet. As you can see, the rice and the broth is separated from each other. The broth is still pretty clear. Take a whisk and stir for a minute or two. This will break up the rice grains and thicken the soup. The more you stir, the creamier your jolt will come out. Check it out. The broth and the rice grains are blended together. That is the standard of a perfect jolt. Now you can add the century eggs. Stir to separate the pieces. Add the grated ginger and the marinated pork. Stir to loosen up the strips so they don't stick together. Once all the pork is changed color, let it cook for a few more minutes, and you are done. Before serving, give it a taste. The chicken stock that I used is salted, so I am not going to add any more sodium. But if you are using unsalted stock, you will have to adjust it by taste. Last, I like to add some white pepper for a little kick. Sprinkle some diced scallion as garnish. The best thing to go with a jolt is the deep fried donut stick, but I didn't make it today, so I will just eat it on its own. It is savory and comfortable. The taste of the century egg is mild. I think those reaction videos are overreacting. <laughs> I hope you give this a try soon. As always, the recipe is on my website. Soupeduprecipes.com. Thank you for watching. This video is sponsored by Soup Up Recipes Clay Pot. It may sound new to you, but Clay Pot is a traditional cookware in Chinese cuisine. It has a high heat capacity. The material retains the heat, then redistributes it to the food slowly and evenly. The heavy duty wall allows for better browning. Then you can maintain low and slow heat on the stove top or in the oven. I love the blue top and the hammer design. It functions as a beautiful serving piece that keeps the food warm on the table. If you want to buy it, the link is in the description. Go check it out. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.